Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Master Mathematics. Today we are going to learn about the arithmetic progression of chapter 5, 10 standard CBSC syllabus. This is the exercise 5.2, question number 15. Okay, let us see what is the question. For what value of n or the nth term of 2 AP, 63, 65, 67, and 3, 10, 17, etc. are equal. Here in which value of n? Here given 2 arithmetic progression. In that 2 arithmetic progression, which value of n are equal? If in this 2 arithmetic progression, any one of the uh, term is equal. In which nth term is equal? That means we have to find the n. Okay. Before going to start our class, our channel's main aim is to achieve 90 plus in your board examination. I will help you to achieve 90 plus. How can I help you? Each and every chapter finished after, I am going through the last previous questions. That will help you to achieve maximum marks in your board examination. If which type of problem will come into your board examination, you know. That is why keep watching on my channel. Let us start today's class. For what value of n? So here we want two arithmetic progressions. So we can take it as arithmetic progression 1, AP1. That is 63, 65, 67, etc. From this take it as first term capital A. Okay, first term is equal to first term is equal to capital A and the common difference is equal to capital D. From this, what is the first term? S yes, 63. What is the common difference here? 65 minus 63 is equal to 2 is the common difference. Here the condition is any one of the term is equal in these two arithmetic progression. That means we have to find the nth term. That means a n is equal to what is the nth term formula? a plus n minus 1 into d. That means here here a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. Here a is 63 plus n minus 1 into d is 2. So a n is equal to this. This is an equation number 1. Okay. This is an equation number 1. Next arithmetic progression a p 2. 3, 10, 17, etc. These are the another arithmetic progression. From this first term. What is a first term? First term A is equal to 3 and the common difference, common difference small d. What is the common difference small d? 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So what is the nth term small a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Substitute the values here. That is equal to here a is 3 plus n minus 1 into d is 7. Okay, a n is equal, this is an equation number 2. From this question, in any one of the term, in two arithmetic progression are equal means a n is equal to a n. So that means a n is equal to a n. So what is a n? 63 plus n minus 1 into 2 equal to here 3 plus n minus 1 into 7. Let us see this here. 63 plus 2n minus 2 equal to 3 plus 7n minus 7. n all are in one side. That means uh, that implies here. Here plus 7n. Here uh, 2n. That means going right side. Uh, here 5n. Okay, here 63 minus 2, 61. Here uh, 7 minus, uh, minus 7 plus 3 that is equal to minus 4. So minus 4 uh, going uh, left side that means uh, here 61 plus 4 65. Okay therefore 5n is equal to here 65. Therefore n is equal to 65 by 5 is equal to 13 is the answer. So let us see n is equal to 13 that means the 13th term is equal in two APs. Okay, in these two arithmetic provision, the 30th term will be equal term. Okay, so the question is an uh, indirect question. We have to find n. 
let us see once more i will explain from what value of n the nth term of 2 ap is r equal in this two arithmetic progression if any one of the term is equal that which term is equal which nth term that means we have to find n that means a and same terms if here 15th term is here also 15th here fourth term is here also for that two terms are equal that means using nth term formula we have to find this solution first arithmetic progression one take it as capital a as a first term and the common difference as capital d using nth term formula a plus n minus 1 into d substitute the values here 63 plus n minus 1 into 2 that means here this is an equation number 1 same way here a plus n minus 1 into d 3 plus n minus 1 into 7 equating these two a n equal to a n then we will get n is equal to 30 so 30th term will be equal to okay so i hope you all understood this problem if you have any doubts or suggestion please message in the comment box okay if you are like my video like and share to your friends and if you are new in my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon then only you get notified whenever i post new videos that will help you to achieve maximum marks in your board examination so thank you so much for watching see you on my next video till then bye